Hey everyone, this is TJ at Three Crows Conjure. How are we doing today? Today, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how to take care of one of my favorite deities. This is Santa Muerte. But first thing I want to talk to you about is, is please like our page, please subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. So please make sure to add those down below. <clears throat> and let's get started. So... I'm going to talk to you today about my favorite deity. This is mi corazón. This is what we like to call Holy Death or Santisma Muerte or Santa Muerte. She is a multifaceted deity. She's also known as a Catholic folk saint. And as a folk saint, she's not an actual venerated saint. But she's actually that a lot of Hispanics in Mexico actually will actually work with and have basically canonized himself to being a saint. So she's the first that actually came to me. So she's very dear to me. She's been around me pretty much my whole life. And she's the one that I like to help teach others about and how to work with her. So I'm going to tell you, this is actually one of our candles that we make at Three Crows Conjured. This is our La Roja Santa Muerte figure candle, as you can see. It is Santa Muerte in all her glory. It's a pretty large candle. This is actually four inch candles, so you can see she's pretty big. Um, she's got the scales in her hand and she has the world in her hand. So as you can see, she's one that she actually conquered and is death and she's conquered Jesus. So that's something that you have to think about, even though he did win. So it's what the story goes, but <clears throat> we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about you and your personal relationship with her. And what do you do after you actually uh, give what you want when she when you petition her and you ask her for what it is that you want. So what we're going to talk about is what's called your payment to her or the manda. So a manda is basically when she comes through for you and you need to basically pay respect and honor her and thank her and do that for her. So I'm going to show you a unique way that is different than what you normally do. Normally, you could, if you have Santa Muerte statues, you can do that. Or what we like to do is actually we have a red Santa Muerte candle here that's basically the size of a statue normally that we actually light on her behalf and to thank her for that. So what you also will see around here is red, white, and black four-inch candles that we have. And we have 12 of those to basically go around her what would normally be a statue but right here we have a candle so the one thing i will tell you is this is the traditional aspect of santa muerte with having the three different robes this is the red robe that we're honoring today we normally honor either the white red or black and red is more for your materialistic needs and for your benefits so just know that when you're actually working with her that's one of the aspects that you can do. But one of the most specific things that I will tell you is make sure that you keep the white off of the black because the white is more of your spiritual aspect and the black, she can be sometimes what people consider chaos, chaotic, death. Um, and they just don't mix well. It's kind of like putting oil and fire and gasoline together at the same time if you put those two together at the same so we don't want to do that but let's go back to actually talking about our manda so when we're talking about doing a manda for santa muerte what we're going to do is the actual statue or candle that you use to actually talk to and pray to and actually work with and asking for getting what you want to receive <laughs> you'll put that in the middle. As we talked about, you have your candles. Your chime candles are traditional. It's fine to use those. If you have bigger candles, like six-inch candles, you can use those. If you want to use coach candles, by all means do. But keep in mind, we're talking about using 12 of them here. You have four for each color. It's what we traditionally are doing. Now, one of her favorite things that she really enjoys and is very traditional to do when you're doing a manda is actually to burn copal incense, okay? Copal resin is a wonderful aroma. I personally like the golden copal because I think it has a very 
light, airy, fragrant smell, and I know that Santa Muerte traditionally loves this aroma as well. Now, a couple others if you want to use, you can. If you don't have copal, it's frankincense resin and myrrh resin. Now, traditionally, those two are not used, but because of the actual resonance that you're actually burning for her, these are okay, but as anything, work with your deity, ask who if this is something that she would want, and most times you'll get a pretty plain answer. If you need to use divination to find to make sure, you can do a simple divination just to ask. Okay, so what we will do is we can put other things on here. She really enjoys Siete Machos Cologne, which you can find pretty much at any Botanica, any Hispanic store like a Taqueria, and even sometimes you can find at Walmart. So just depending on your area where you're at, she really enjoys that. You can mix that with holy water, leave that as a small cup here on the side. You can actually sprinkle it around on the manda if you like. And another thing if you want to do, it's kind of a fire hazard if you want to, but I have actually seen people actually use marigolds because that's one of the traditional for Santa Muerte is to put marigolds around the plate. Again, dried out leaves tend to be a little bit of a fire hazard, so just be prepared. Make sure to put it over on the outside if you do that. So what you will do is you will actually start in the front. You will go clockwise around lighting these candles. And then once you have established the manda in there, you will actually light the center candle here. Now what you will do, make sure to have a large enough plate. This plate will not be large enough for this candle because it is such a large candle. I'm talking about a pound of wax here, so just be prepared. Have a larger plate if you do that. But what you'll do is you will actually light those and light her candle, sit down and talk to her and thank her for all that she done for you as far as providing what she has provided. Tell her how much you love and appreciate what it is that you she's done for you and you will continue to honor her in such a way. Sit with this, listen to any messages that she may actually give you. And if you want to, you can let this burn for as long as you want. We recommend that you at least let it go down till the four inch candles have gone all the way down and stay with it for that. Then if you want to, you can actually allow the Santa Muerte candle to burn all the way if you want. That'll take a very, very long time. We're talking days here. So I would just allow that to burn as you can burn it, okay? If you do have to step away from burning that candle, put it out. Come back, relight it, tell her thank you, honor her that way, and then go about your business. <laughs> so this is what we like to call Amanda. This is a traditional way of doing that. You'll have the incense burning as well, just to give her that food and an offering to her as well. And then you'll be giving that thanks and praise. This is a proper way of doing so. It's a respectful, it's a nice way to show her gratitude and to tell her that you are thankful for what it is that she has done in honoring her. So, all right. Well, this is, a, this is all I have for you guys today for About Santa Muerte. If you have other questions, if you want to find out more ways of how to actually work with her, so that way you can actually do Amanda, so that feel free to send us any questions and comments down below. And if you have any further questions or if you'd like to purchase a candle like this, you can purchase from us at threecrowsconjured.com. Or if you want something that's more personalized, we have different colors that we'll be offering as well for this candle, not just the red, white, and black, but also in rainbow, we'll have her traditional seven robe colors as well. So thank you guys. If you have anything that you'd like to ask us, feel free, like I said, message us. And we look forward to talking to you soon and look forward to Amanda's video coming up soon that she'll be doing. You guys will really enjoy it. I know it's also talking to me and hearing me, but wait till you hear the boss. She talks, She a lot of people listen. So once again, thank you guys. Hit like, subscribe. If you got anything, please let us know. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.